right guys, let's try this again. <laughs> this GoPro 4 Black, sorry, GoPro Hero 4 Black has been so finicky. Um, I've been riding for the past five minutes or so, jabbering on about this bike. Um, so this is my, uh, and I just realized, anyways, I just realized that it was not recording. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, it was riveting com content, so yeah, you miss out a lot. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, so I wanted to give a quick review of, of this bike, the XSR 700. Um, I've had it for around a year. Um, I have about 2,700 miles on it so far. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a fun bike for me. I commute every now and then. Uh, I'm in a ride on the weekends. But with a with a two month old and a two year old and a full time job and all of those things, uh, it's it's really tough to to have time to to make an actual video, or you know, tough to find time in general to ride. Um, and then you know, making a video on top of that is also you know, you guys who do this know that it's it's also time consuming. Um, and you guys who do this on a full time basis, or not even full time basis, but on a you know, for fun on a regular basis. Like I said in my last video, props to you because it's it's not it's not easy. Uh, but man, that is a sharp bike. I hope you can see that. Um, and if you haven't seen my other videos, go check those out. I give a pretty good breakdown on what I've done to this bike. Um, so I won't you know I won't I won't point anything out. But we'll just do a we'll just do a quick ride around and I'll just kind of talk to you guys about what I've done, what I like about it. Um, my most favorite things about this bike, my most favorite mods, uh, what I plan on doing in the future, and a few things that I'm not crazy about, uh, you know, on the bike as well. So we'll get into that. Uh, so to start, this exhaust. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, this exhaust, nice little gravel patch there. Uh, it is the Two Brothers SR1 Black Edition. It is the stainless steel can. Uh, you can also get it in the carbon fiber, but it wasn't available. And I, gosh, I don't even know if it. I still don't think it's available. Um, so I just went with the stainless, and I think it looks great on this bike. Um, it's not too, not too flashy. Tucks in nice. Very simple, simple install. Um, I'm fairly competent in the garage, but I mean, if even if you're not, it's it's easy. It comes with great, easy to follow directions. Uh, it takes I don't know 15, 30 minutes to install, and it is well worth it. If you don't have exhaust for this bike, if you don't have exhaust for this bike, nor any bike really, but especially this one, you are missing out because it is it wakes it up. It gives a really good character. Uh, the performance, you know, it, I mean, I guess it is actually noticeable down low with the torque, but I got it because it sounds good. Uh, you know, if you follow Jake the Garden Snake, his, his FZ07, he has this exact system, uh, and that, that basically sold me. And the price is, the price is awesome for what it is, uh, compared to, compared to most other systems out there. And I do ride with the, uh, it comes with a little, it's an insert, they call it a, a power tip, but it's just a basically a stainless steel insert that goes in the tip of the of the can. Uh, it's supposed to lower the decibel range a little bit, but yeah, I don't know, I don't ride with that in. I ride with it out 99% of the time, because why not, it sounds awesome. And I hope you guys can hear it. I've got a wind reducer on, the, on my microphone, a little, a little caterpillar on there, so hopefully that's working pretty good. So I've done the exhaust. Um, and I'll go over a couple of these things 
and a couple of them that, that I have talked about, especially these Austin the bars, I've talked about in the uh, one of my other ride along videos, my other, my only other ride along video. Um, so the exhaust is my favorite by far, and then the other that I wouldn't do without is our the, the setup is my bar, my handlebar grip and mirror setup. Um, I wouldn't. There's a few things on this bike that I've changed, and maybe I'll you know maybe I'll do again or change some things around. But I will I will stay with these bars. Uh, they're the Pro Contour. Carmichael bend uh, they are incredible it the width of them makes you really have control of this bike and it lowers it so you're facing forward a little bit more uh, which I really like I'm six foot two 180 pounds um, only a 32 inch inseam so leg space is not a big deal for me but I just felt kind of weird with the factory bars up so high it just didn't I don't know I just wanted them a little bit more sporty uh, so those were a pretty quick change. I would say within a month of me getting the bike, I had the bars. And then the, the grips as well came, I basically bought those the same day. The uh, Pro Contour Pillow Top grips. Uh, right after that were the bar end mirrors. I had them flipped up at first and my, my elbow was, was in the way. They looked cool, but my elbow was in the way. So I flipped them down and I really like them that way. Uh, it shoots right back through my through the back of my bike, through the side of my bike, with no interference from my arms or elbow. My right one um, is a little different. I don't really know why. I think I might have the the actual uh, frame of the mirror set back a little bit more, a little bit too much. So I'm going to have to adjust those. But uh, once you get used to the distance that you have to look, then you know you you would never you'll never go back just because they look awesome and. So, you know, what by, by what I mean there is with the factory mirrors, they're basically about here and right here. So you don't really have to physically turn your head. But with these, you, you do have to make an adjustment there with your, with your head. So it takes a second. Um, let me slow down here for this. I told you guys about wildlife. There's also quite a bit of uh, livestock back through these, back through these parts. Um, I didn't want to, this bike is pretty loud. I didn't want to spook that horse with that kid on there. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the mirrors, they're, they're awesome. I love them. Um, that and, and one of the biggest changes too was the LED headlight. I didn't change the bucket out, but I did change the actual bulb. Uh, I went to the, I don't even know what the technical name of it is, but it's just an LED um, high intensity bulb. I got it from superbrightleds.com. Uh, I, I would never, there's absolutely no reason to go back to stock on that. Um, it's just, it's super bright. And I do ride, yes, I ride with my high beams on. I know that's a controversial thing, but. But I've always done it. Uh, I've done it for 13 years, and it seems to work pretty well. So anything that can increase my visibility to others is is okay with me, and I'll keep doing that. Obviously, I don't keep it on if I'm if I'm riding at night. It's you know I'll I'll, I'll lower the beam, and uh, but during the day I'll ride with the high beams. and it, man, these roads are so underrated. So, okay, so I've covered the exhaust, the bars, the mirrors, the grips, the headlight, um, the New Rage Cycles tail kit. That was a really cool addition that, uh, that I... That's, I think that's my most recent, uh, you know, significant add-on or mod. It looks really cool. Go check out my other video uh, on that that, sh that highlights that kit. 
uh, and where to get it. I have a link in that video as well on where to order that kit. But it's it's it is a plug and play all the way. Um, of course, I did get the uh, LED resistor, the relay resistor there. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but the uh, the relay for your LED signals, which I have up front uh, from TST Industries. Uh, I got those the pods. I got those up front, so I already had the relay in there, so I didn't have to worry about that when I added the uh, either the LED headlight or my uh, tail kit, which is a integrated brake running and signal kit. There, it's 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 awesome. Uh, really cleans up that tail. Which honestly, once you get rid of that the huge uh, plate holder, if you just chop that off, the the light, the factory brake light is not that bad I got rid of the blinkers up front and back right off the bat as well I got the, uh, the the TST industry pods and then I got the LED strips in the back but uh, the tail light itself is not that bad I think it's it's pretty awesome but it, I just wanted to get rid of the fender and really tighten up that rear end so that's the new rate cycles kit uh, is is something I'll, I will never change I'm really happy with it very high quality polymer the base is a very high quality polymer it's and it's a good price too so a lot of uh, you know one of the coolest things I really like about this bike is how unique it is around here um, in the states this bike is just not that common especially <laughs> For some reason, especially in the south, um, there just aren't too many around. I, I bought the one up here where I live, and I have not seen another one at the dealership, and I haven't seen one on the road. So it's it's really unique, and I can't tell you how many times I've been at a had a ride in or a just pull up anywhere uh, to grab a coffee or a gas or something, and somebody says, "What is that?" And I mean, that's that's an awesome compliment, in my opinion somebody doesn't know what it is it's so unique that they're not sure what it is i think that's a great compliment um and i mean that's in the that was in the stock form which i didn't have in stock form of more than a week or two but even in stock form i had a few people ask me what it was and of course since i've changed a bunch of things around i've had even more questions um, it's such a unique bike around here and i think that's a, a really awesome thing um, I really love the character and I mean the, the look of this bike is is so cool I make it sometimes I've had a couple people comment that I, I make it look a little bit small um, and I don't know I don't think so I'm not that tall I, mean, I know Spurge Spurge did a review on Revzilla um, and he's he's six three or six four and he he did make it look pretty small of course he he outweighs me probably by a good 30 or 40 pounds but maybe even more than that um, but I don't know I don't think I've I definitely don't feel too big for it and I think it's kind of nice that it's it's a nice compact package so a few of the things that my, my top my most favorite things about the bike in general other than the mods um, number one is the motor it's the sound uh, the feel the responsiveness of it um, the way that it shifts it's it's obviously been you know it's in quite a few other power uh, quite a few other frames so it's a proven motor and there's a reason that it's been around as long as it has and the reason that it's you know a reason that it's so popular Another big one is the the rideability of it, the ergonomics, the uh, the ease. You know, everything is. And I know a lot of the stuff is is a Yamaha factory. You know, the switches, the the uh, the signals, and everything like that is 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 very common. But um, the way that they have it set up is is really easy, and it's really easy to to manipulate. Hang on. 
dig right there is such a good noise. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, so the way that it feels, the way it rides, the way it handles, the, the seat, a lot of people aren't crazy about the seat, but man, I, I've never had a problem. Um, I took a pretty long trip back in the spring down Natchez Trace, and I, I mean, it wasn't, you know, several hours, but it was a nice hour and a half ride uh, with no brakes, and I didn't, I didn't have any problems. For a factory seat, I think it's awesome, and I think it looks good too. Uh, I really like the flat seat, and I've heard really good things about it, uh, but I just don't have any reason to change that right now. And the suspension, a lot of people uh, aren't crazy about the suspension, but again, I, for me, for my weight, uh, for the way I ride it, and I'm not, I don't go to any track days because there aren't any around here, unfortunately. If anybody knows of any or anybody wants to invite me along, feel free. Any of you uh, 40 subscribers that I have, uh, I would love to do a track day, but but the way that I ride, it just, it's not a big deal for me. It's not squishy. It's, I think it, I think they did improve it from the FC07. Um, but it rides, it rides really well. And I don't ride too up at all. Um, I always, I, I don't know if I've ever had a path. So we've gone over a couple of the mods. Um, my most favorite, I mean, I've taken off the front fender and uh, painted this, this silver screen that's over here on this, uh, this cover, I guess you could call it, underneath the tank. Uh, I've, take, I've replaced the air filter with a K&N, so I've done a few of those things, but uh, the mods that I went over are, are my favorite. So, gone over those, gone over a couple of things that I like about it. A couple of things um, that I want to do in the future are not, not a lot, but there are some things that, you know, if I had unlimited resources, um, I would, I really want to get a custom dyno tune with the uh, Power Commander 5 in it. Our, one of my local shops, they do it. Um, and they do a really nice setup. You know, they, they let you come in and watch them do it. And you can, they sing you home with a nice little report. So I really want to do that. Uh, and then, because I don't have any fueling on this bike yet. So I've had this setup for about a year and I haven't had any issues, but I know I can unlock some potential if I, if I had a nice custom tune. Um, that and I, I, I would like to try out some sportier rear sets so I'd like to have my feet back I keep I ride you know like like most people I ride on the balls of my feet so um, but I would like to have them back I don't know maybe up and back a bit just to open up my hips a little bit um, I don't mind them the way they are now but yeah I wouldn't mind nice little gravel patch there um, the biggest things you have to watch out for in these country roads, these rural country roads, which the roads are themselves are always awesome, thank goodness. Uh, Tennessee does a great job on keeping their roads, but out here is gravel, dirt tracks from a lot of these tractors and, and heavy equipment that's pulling out of these farms, lot, uh, wildlife and livestock. I mean, we will probably see at least a few deer on this ride. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see more. Um, we, yeah, we, usually where there's one, there's more, but... Uh, so those are the biggest hazards, and of course, keep your eye out for for any, obviously, cars and, and other, other vehicles, but... Uh, but anyways, yeah, so... The rear sets, that, that's probably good, would be a couple of the things that I would do. Other than that, I don't know if I would... if I'm going to do much more. Um, I just really liked it the way it is. It treats me well. Um, you know, I'm I'm a very I maintain my vehicles and um, you know my tools and lawn equipment and things like that. I maintain it very meticulously. So uh, you know, I don't think I have any problems maintenance-wise. Um, and I'm fairly handy in the garage, like I said earlier. But uh, so I. And I enjoy it, you know, I enjoy tinkering and changing the oil and, you know, keeping the chain tight and air pressure and all those, all those maintenance things. I think that that's part of the fun of it. This is such a cool road. Cumberland River.
we've gone over a couple of my favorite mods, um, a couple of my favorite things about the bike in general. And I mean, I'm not going to go over specifics. I mean, you know, as far as numbers and data and things like that, you guys know if you're looking at this bike, you guys know the numbers. Uh, you know, 75-ish horsepower uh, at, at peak at peak RPM. But you're looking at about 50 foot-pounds of torque at peak RPM, usually on the lower end. Uh, I believe this bike hits that at, uh, I want to say 55 or 4,500, nah, maybe lower than that. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going to go over the things uh, that I feel like I, I feel, you know, and I feel like you guys will experience too, so I hope that was kind of helpful. So, uh, but a couple of things that that I'm not so crazy about, that's, that's a really cool shot there. So I'll just enjoy that for a second. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. So, anyways, a couple of things that uh, that aren't really my preference, uh, but and you know, I can't really do too much about. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, there are things that I might would change. I probably would get. I probably would get another bucket and that's probably going to go in that last set of issues that I was talking about that my next mods but gosh they're expensive and they're pretty rare right now uh, I know there's a couple European companies that make them I think Brogue might um, but uh but that you know that would probably be something I would do I think the I think the headlight pokes out a little bit much <laughs> but uh but it's that's a minor thing it does a good job. Um, sometimes, and I almost feel bad saying this because I feel like I'm dogging the bike, but uh, sometimes I do feel a little bit large on it. I know earlier that I don't really said that I don't necessarily feel too big for it, but sometimes if I'm riding through town and I look through mirrors or you know in, in store windows, I kind of look a little goofy on it. Um, I don't know maybe not maybe you know maybe that's all in my head but uh but it might be a little bit compact if you're if you're 62 over 62 um it might be worth looking into you know doing some options that will they'll open your open your riding position up a little bit more but i haven't found a problem i mean after a while you know a really long ride um you know, you start getting a little bit of arm pump, or um, I don't know. That that's kind of a that's kind of a picky thing of mine. Uh, we'll continue straight here. other thing that I can that I can think of is maybe maybe the shifting the shifting but that's if you have a Yamaha or yeah I mean especially a street bike uh, you're kind of used I mean it's a very it's a very mechanical feel I mean it's a it's a mechanical clutch so you're you know it's not a hydraulic clutch so it's gonna be a little bit more mechanical feel to it which I mean I don't mind, you know, I don't, I think it's, I think it's, it lets you feel the bike a lot more, but once you, you know, if you ride, if you went from this bike to a bike that had a hydraulic clutch, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's a nice little luxury. Um, but again, this bike is, I think I paid out the door under $8,000. So come on. I mean, what, what else can you ask for? guys you know if this video was was decent to watch or, or helpful in any way um, I you know this is something very new to me doing these videos uh, I wanted to kind of 
do them just just for my own sake to watch you know correct any mistakes that I might be doing or um, you know see if there's anything I can learn from writing um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to put it to publish it and see uh, see what you guys think and let me know you know let me know what you think in the comments I I'm really open to anything uh, you know is my camera angle off uh, I do know that <laughs> that I tend to ramble and I also my voice is just naturally kind of loud so uh, that is probably something I can work on uh, again this is my second onboard video I've ever made so it's all a learning process uh, you know and, and, and the editing process I'm hoping to actually do this as just an uncut straight video with no you know there might be limited cutting if there's some boring spots in there but I don't want to do a lot of editing because um, I think it's kind of fun to watch these raw videos so let me know what you guys think um, if you want to see more I would love to do more uh, you know once I if I do that dyno the custom dyno then I would love to film that for you guys um, of course that's all dependent on your interests because like I said it's hard to get away for these things I mean with a full-time job and, and a family um, it's really hard to sometimes to even ride in the first place much less take the time to you know do the video and, and, and the editing and that type thing but I think it's really cool I really enjoy doing it so um, let me know let me know what you guys think and I'm really glad you you came along and yeah we'll uh, we'll catch you guys later thanks for watching